chapter 7, uh, coming of age, Swan Lake. For this one, you need a certain amount of goodwill with Otto and Malcolm, esteemed guests. I would assume it would be like level 2, because we haven't met him in the story yet. Welcome, esteemed guests. You have come from afar to attend my sister, uh, my daughter's, <laughs> my daughter's Princess Sinai's coming of age ceremony. The ceremony shall begin with a buquette this banquet this evening. Please have a leisurely day until then. Father, you look just like a ceremony official. I have ca I have to host your coming of age ceremony after all. But you sounded so stiff and formal. You brat, you should be honored that your king's personally hosting your ceremony. Oh, that is a great honor indeed. My precious princess, you will officially be the heir from today. Please enjoy this day. It's dedicated to you and all your companions. You mustn't leave. Of course I won't leave. I'm just as young as you all. <coughs> Father. Father has been coughing a lot more lately, and I'm afraid his ill will worsen. Your Majesty, it is best to take your medicine and rest. You cannot afford to tire yourself anymore. <coughs> no, today is Sinai's coming of age ceremony. It's a joyous day. Skipping a dose is going to do isn't is going to do any harm. Don't you agree, my dear Sliny? No. I know I want Father to be happy, but I don't want Miss Rosalyn to worry either. Why can't you take your medicine first? If you don't, you'll you'll have to miss out on the wine later. You're so mean to me. All right, Sliny, I'll go take my medicine right now. But I don't feel like resting yet. Miss Rosalyn's disapproval is evident on her face. Cheer up, Rosalyn. My Sliny becomes an adult today. Miss Sly Miss Rosalyn's face turns red. Ah, uh, yes, our Sani is such, uh, such an excellent young woman. Congratulations, Sani, you'll be our future queen. And you are the one who can advise the king to take better care of his health. Thank you, Miss Rosalind, but I think you're better suited for that role. You're just like a mother to me, after all. You mustn't say such nonsense, your highness. <laughs> it's fine. You've been so focused on taking care of Sani all these years. She should really respect you the way a daughter respects her mother. Thank you. Thank you, your majesty. It, it is only my duty. Oh, yes, Sunny. Didn't you invite a really important friend? Is he here? I'm rather curious about him. Oh, I, I've i not seen him yet. <sighs> Such an important friend, yet he's late. Father, the real banquet only starts tonight. Yes, you're right. I'm a little muddle-headed today. I guess I should go take my medicine now. Father has reminded me of Alia Otis, the mysterious swan prince. Tonight he shall... Come, my betrothed. When he gets here, I shall ask him to marry me in front of all the guests. But how should I propose? Am I supposed to kneel? <sighs> yes, girl, get down on your knees. <laughs> how did I end up making such a rush promise? But if only, if only marriage can save him, I must do my best to help my friend. Am I really just trying to help a friend? Sunny, Sunny, huh? The call jerks me out of my. Reverie, I don't know. I turn in my head. The elders are, are already proceeded to the conference hall, leaving only the crowds of marriage candidates here. Sonny, my princess, I have not yet formally congratulated you on becoming the crown heir. heir. This is a token made from a bloom. Bloom I picked on an icy mountain peak. Its shop represent the undying bond between us. Please accept it. Oh, thank you. I shall treasure our friendship. No, Sonny. I'm not referring to friendship. <sighs> Get friend zoned, honor! Oh, congratulations! You have earned the French of our gracious princess, dear princess. It is my honor to attend your coming of age ceremony. Do take a do take a look at what I've brought you. He whips out a small cage, and from behind, in inside, big ears. Oh, has the princess already named it? You seem to fancy it very much, your highness. This adorable little rabbit is now the princess's little pet. Thank you, poor big ears. I'll find a way to send you back home. You thief, that's my idea. The prince approaches, carrying a small cage. This time it's brushed to you? Your Highness, I know you wouldn't accept expensive gifts, so I captured this little squirrel for you. I'm sure you'd like it. Oh, and don't fret, I haven't heard it at all, because I know you have a very kind heart. Thank you. Poor brushed tail. Well, you can both attend my coming-of-age ceremony. Haha, <laughs> just look at your miserable fellows. You can't even come up with a good gift. <laughs> you can't possibly... Understand the bond between the princess and me. My dear princess, I have personally crafted this diamond necklace for you. Once I received that invite, I honored the best jeweler in the land to teach me 
his craft. This brilliant diamond is the shape of a six-pointed star representing my undying love for you. Wow, you guys really overuse the word undying love. I, hey, why is everyone trying to steal my ideas? This can't possibly compare to the expensive gem necklace I represented. Anyway, who knows if you really crafted that yourself. Don't insult my devotion for the princess. My dear princess, please don't turn down my gift on such an important day. You deserve to have it. Thank you for crafting this grand gift for me. I will ask father to place it in the museum for safe, safe, safekeeping. No, princess, this is for you and you alone. Princess Sini, I'm here. It's your birthday we got today. May you have good health and may we have the most blissful marriage and beautiful children. You. Thank you for your... Well wishes, huh? Why are you all? Why are you all? Why are all of you carrying so many things? Oh, my gift. Fernald Harry is, Fernandad hurries away to get my coming of age gift. More and more people come forward with to wish me. My hands become full with gifts. This is a. This should be a joyous coming of age ceremony. But how can I possibly accept the marriage and proposal of all the princes and noblemen here? Even though my duty to maintain good relations with all the kingdoms, it's called polygamy. It's not that hard. It's illegal in most places, but some of the places there aren't. <laughs> However, from today onwards, I will be able to escape all of this, and my friend will be released from his curse soon. Okay, let's see. What do I need? I need to have this dress, Wisteria Caprico. You get it from getting a perfect score in chapter 6 of Swan Lake. So, yeah. Charming and elegant clothing. Okay, you get this from... Nope, never mind. You don't need that one yet. You get this from reaching Goodwill with Aliotis level 5. Yeah. This dress takes a while to make, so you'd be be aware of that. You get this later on. It, it's not important to this level. You get these earrings from the tavern shop. Oh wait, no, you don't need this. Okay, I think the makeup is required. You get this from encountering Miss Rosalyn. Yeah, so you really only need three clothes for to get a perfect score. My coming of age ceremony draws to a grand close with the blessings of many in ensuing banquet is about to end too. I pick father as my partner for the first dance because the one who ought, ought to be here is missing. The banquet is almost over. Why is Aliotis here? Has he, m has he had some kind of mishap or is he having second thoughts? Dear my dear princess, may I have this dance? Sorry, I'm a little tired. Oh, what a pity. But it has indeed been a long day for you. Please have a good rest afterwards. Thank you. Your highness, this is the fifth dance you've refused Fifth time you've raised the dance, you shouldn't be doing that. This is a night you need to get to choose your future husband. I'm sorry, Chief Minister. That is precisely why I cannot have a second dance with them. Does that mean you already have someone in mind? Yes. Yes, Chief Minister, I'm waiting for his arrival. This is rather unexpected. Let's wait a little longer. I only wish to have my second dance with my betrothed. The time is ticking away. I keep glancing at the door, but Aliotis does not appear. I think he appears in this chapter, so. Everyone knows that the princess will choose her husband to be cut during her coming of age ceremony, but I still haven't had my second dance, and the hall is starting to fill with mummers. I feel uneasy. Will he keep his word? The familiar prince is also strangely unfamiliar. Sani, I don't wish to add more pressure, but will you tell me why you won't dance with the other princes? Are you still waiting for that important friend? I'm sorry to trouble everyone, father. It's fine, dear. Today should be a joyous day. It's nearly midnight, and the dance will end soon. I can almost hear the bells ringing in my head. Sine! Okay, that's it. 
for chapter 7. I'm pretty sure Aliotis and Odwin is supposed to come in chapter 8. If you enjoyed this read-along, subscribe, like this video, and yeah, turn on the post notifications. Bye for now.